beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for all the love and support you show my channel to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And y'all know, all my rider dies. I love you. Thank you so very much for all the love and support you guys have been showing my channel. I am so, so, I don't know what the word is, appreciative. But today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I did kind of like a copycat like I did last week where I went to my local Dollar Trees and got so frustrated with absolutely nothing that I just zoomed right up to my favorite two Wake Forest stores where I did find quite a few items. But then I came back to my stores today and lo and behold, they have some new stuff. Whew, you just can never, ever tell. But it's new to me, but I've been seeing it floating around for a while. Okay, okay. So without further ado, let's jump right into this okay, Dollar I'm Tree I'm going to do okay. the um, food first, and then the whatever, because as always, it's a hodgepodge. I tried to raise my camera just a little bit, so when I show you guys, I don't always show my third eye. I hate this thing on my arm. I almost wish I had it just left it the way it was because it was just a little tiny dot before I had it removed. But yeah, anyway, I digress. <laughs> so I'm trying to maneuver my camera. So because when I edit my videos, all I see is that third eye. And I call it a third eye because it looks like a third eye. Okay, anywho, let's move right on. Okay, repurchase. Y'all seen it before. Uh, another bag of the creamy caramels. Love them. Try to keep my candy dish full until I change it out to my fall motif. Okay, I've been really, really busy. Um, sorry, my computer just went off. I've been really, really busy pretty much flying by the seat of my pants trying to get arrangements together to put on my family's, you know, I, like I explained before and trying to make reefs for people and trying to get myself situated to go on my little weekend excursion and then some health issues came up and yeah. Woo, woo, woosa, woosa. Moving right along. Y'all saw on my community page because I did post this on my community page and y'all know I did not eat this stuff. I might taste a little bit. We don't, we don't know, but I thought this was so fabulous. I don't celebrate Halloween, as I've said before, but these were so cute. I've never seen these in the Dollar Tree before. To me, this is absolutely new. This is a three-pack. It says right there, three-pack of Halloween cotton candy. You get watermelon, green apple, and blue raspberry. Artificial flavor. It's a net weight of 1.59 and... Dag, I forgot, y'all, to do the exp expi expiration dates again. This doesn't expire until 5-13-23. Look at this, you guys. You got the blue raspberry. You got the watermelon. And then you got the, what is it, sour apple? Green apple. Isn't that cute? Just little pieces. See, I like it like that. I might have to taste a little piece of each before, you know... I give it away, and I do believe they're individually, yep, they're individually packaged. If you could see the packages inside, they are individually packaged, and it just says three-pack watermelon, green apple, and blue raspberry Halloween cotton candy party pack. So that's what it is. It's a party pack, but I've never seen a Dollar Tree have these before, and I just thought it was so fantabulous. I had to get it. I just had to get it, and I did, and I'm just going to pass them right along. If my sister doesn't want this cotton candy, I will pass it right over to my neighbor. Her grandkids will love this, okay? The next one that I found was Charms is always having, you know, different varieties of cotton candy, but this bag seems so much bigger to me. I'm not really sure because I never buy the cotton candy, but this is the Charms Fluffy Stuff spider web cotton candy and this is the sour apple i knew there was a sour apple in there somewhere this is a 2.1 ounce bag and it says peanut free and gluten free and i was just like look at this wow look at the size of that bag y'all doesn't that look bigger than the ones that they normally have i don't know but the expiration date on this is 12 23 
So there you go. Spider web, cotton candy, sour apple. Fantabulous. Look at that <laughs> spider down there. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. So I got that. And the last cotton candy that I found was interesting as well. This is called Fun Fair Cotton Candy Birthday Cake. Keep it sweet with a little treat. This is so cute and so festive for a birthday. And it is a two ounce bag. Sorry, y'all. I had to sneeze. <laughs> and I probably would have scared somebody with my sneezes, okay? <laughs> so this is... Um, Expiration date is, oh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my God, that was a hard sneeze. This is gluten-free and nut-free as well. And, hmm, I'm sure there's an expiration date in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. But anyway, this looks like this. It's fun fair, cotton candy, birthday cake flavor. And it just says, keeping it sweet with a little treat. And I'm sure that expiration date is on here somewhere. Sometimes they engrave it in the bag. And, you know, Miss Magoo here, I can't see, you know. But I can't find it until after the fact. And then anyway, but we're going to move right along if I find it. And I remember, I will put it in the description box. But this is all new stuff that's just come out in the Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty sure it's okay. So we got that. The next food item I found that I thought was very, very interesting, and I don't really care for candy corn, you guys. I really don't. When I was a kid, I loved it. But, you know, as we grow up, our taste buds change. But I saw this Sweet Chaos, and y'all know Sweet Chaos is a good popcorn, right? This is drizzled popcorn, candy corn. It's drizzled with sweet candy corn frosting. It's non-GMO. It's popped in coconut oil, it's whole grain, and its expiration date is February 10th, 2023. And it looks like this, Sweet Chaos, drizzled popcorn, candy corn. Look at that. Can you see it? It's drizzled with a candy corn frosting. Wow, that looks interesting, doesn't it? So yeah, I got that because I wanted to show y'all. And then a lot of this stuff is just going in a bag, going right over to my sister's. But I will video chat her first to see what she wants. And whatever she doesn't want, then I will disperse other other places. But this was the mini pumpkin spice, um, six mini pies. And I saw these, you know, floating around on everyone's halls and stuff. And I thought, you know, that was really interesting. I don't eat pumpkin like this, but my sister, like I've told you guys before, the expiration date on this is January 18th, 2023. And I'm, I'm curious to see how, how many, how many, many like size they are because they said six mini. I remember you got three of the large ones. Oh so yeah, they're truly many. <laughs> They are truly, truly mini. I saw someone doing a haul on these, and um, they said their son really liked these. So my sister, she probably liked these. So I just give those to her. I just was curious to see the size of them because they said mini. And then the last of the food items today was the 10-pack of the mini chocolatey chip cookies. And these are by Sobis, too. And I told you guys in the previous walkthrough that when I got the 10 pack of the Sobis cheddar, cheddar crackers that I didn't like them. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to like these chocolate chip cookies because they are by Sobis, you know, they're not like a Keebler or, you know, the, the name brand. So I was curious to see how small these were because you got 10, 10 bags in there and that's what they look like. So little cute little bags. They're cute to go into the kids' lunches or like um, Cassie is doing from Bargain Budgeter. She's putting this in Kansas' birthday um, gift bag. So that's a good idea as well. And the expiration date on these are, let me see. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's put some elevated music on while I look for this expiration date. It's probably individual on the pack. I should have looked on the pack first. 
Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there they are. Yep, it's on the pack. Best Buy, October 31st, 2023. So you got into October to eat these of next year. Okay, so that's pretty good. I don't know how they taste, y'all, and I just ate dinner. I'm full as a tick. I can't eat none right now. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to move on to just, as always, a little hodgepodge of stuff. I got another little small tube of my hand cream, my favorite hand cream. Even though I've got so much hand cream, I still gravitate to my little utterly smooth one. I just love this, this hand cream. I got the mango one with the cuticle oil that I showed you guys. I've got the suave, um, nourishing one. I've got so many, but... This is the one I just gravitate to, so I was using up the rest of it, so I just picked up another one of those, and I showed you guys on my community page as well. I have the soaps, the ghost soaps, and the skeleton, and I typically never buy the Halloween soaps, but I was so, I don't know, enamored by it, and this was the last skull that they had at that particular store. I'm sure they're going to have some down here eventually at my stores, but the ghost is pretty typical. They did zhuzh it up a little bit, like putting some little pleats in a, in a little, um, you know, sheet or whatever, but I don't even know what flavor these are. Let me see, or what scent. This is pomegranate vanilla scented in the skeleton and pomegranate vanilla scented and this one is coconut lime scented oh these might stay right here mm -hmm. they might i was thinking about giving them away to my sister or something whoever wanted them but hmm, not bad that is the coconut lime i think that's what he said yep coconut lime scented not bad oh wow pomegranate vanilla Look at him, y'all. <laughs> Don't I know you? No. <laughs> Let me see how this one smells. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that one smells really nice, you guys. This one has a very faint smell, but this one smells really good. Like that pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Pomahoot. Pomahoot. Pom oh. I don't know. Let's <laughs> promise somebody, right? But this one smells really, really good. So okay, I like at that. The Wake Forest stores that I was at, the one that was the furthest away from me, they had the Brookstones um, clippers, scissors, and nail filers. And then they had the Brookstone scissors and toenail clippers. And this is, I, even though I've given my brothers sets like this before in the past from the other brands, I thought these were really, really good, and I really didn't know which one I should have gotten them. But y'all know, I want more bang for my buck, so I got the the ones with the three in them instead of the ones with the two. And now I'm questioning my second guessing myself now. I think I should have probably just gotten them the toenail clippers and the scissors, but I did it, so I got them both. Um, the clippers, the regular fingernail clippers, the scissors, and a file. So, and these are Brookstones, y'all. These are name brand items. I didn't even get to put them in my phone to see how um, how much they are at retail. But it says Salon Grade, Anodized Steel. Yeah, Anodized Steel Grooming Tools. So that's a really, really a good, um, a good product. I don't know why it made it down to the Dollar Tree. I always question things like this, but... I'm also taking advantage of it. So I got those and it'll show you on the back what they are. So it just says nail clippers, scissors, and nail file. Just like I said. But they do have the ones with just the, um, the nail clippers and the toenail clippers, the big ones. Both looked really nice. Should have probably gotten both. But anywho, I didn't. And I was elated to find another another pair of a pack of stitch and weft that i didn't already have and i tell you my pile is like this you got oh, my third eye showed my pile is like this right this one was so cute of course there's nobody here but me but i still loved it it says i'll wash <laughs> and then it said you dry <laughs> i thought that was so cute y'all know every time i see um, a stitch and weft that I don't already have, I have to get it, you know, because I just think they're such a wonderful um, item, and this would be a very, very nice gift for a couple, you know, so 
I got that. That might go in First Ladies and Pastors Christmas gift. And then I went to, um, I saw they had tablecloths for $1.25, but they also had some really cute tablecloths in the Dollar Tree Plus area. And they only had this one 60 inch round tablecloth left in the Nomi's for $3. And I had to get it. Because y'all know I'm ready to change out my fall motif. And I was searching throughout the now the oval ones, the oblongs, and the square. They were all like 70, you know, inches. I'm like, why is the round 60 inches? But you can see right there, I grabbed it because it was the last one. But it's got the Nomi's on it. I love it, love it, love it. And it's that green in there that reminds me of my mommy. So I'm like, yes, please. I didn't think that was a bad deal for $3. So I got it. If I had have gone to Dollar Tree, I mean Dollar General or Family Dollars, I probably would have paid about the same, if not more. Because I think when I go to Family Dollar and Dollar General, I usually pay way more than $3. So I grabbed it at the Dollar Tree for for, for $3. Okay. Um, okay. Right back I know. Alaska. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more fall, fall stuff and I remember telling you guys that I hadn't seen anything monogrammed in my area except for those silver pails. And I had those from last year, so I didn't bother buying them. But all my stores now have the monogram stuff. But the only thing I purchased yesterday was this little cute little monogram leaves. And I went to my store today and they had them. I mean, plenty of them. And they had different size leaves. And they had all the pumpkins with the S on. Everything that I showed you in the previous walkthrough, my store had it today. So I was pleasantly surprised. But I could have saved myself a quarter to take a guess if I had just been patient. But I'm not patient like that. They need to get that stuff out. Because I've been knowing they have that stuff. I know they have it back there. They just got to get it out. So anywho, I did just get this one fall item. I abstained from getting any of the decorations that my large Dollar Tree had. And I was very proud of myself. But I did really, really want this because I just think it's so cute. So I don't know what I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do something. And I bought a few more of these beads. And I'm kind of second guessing myself because these things like to fall off all over the place. But I'm hoping I can cut them and, and make the arrangements like I wanted to for my um, family's headstones. My mom, my dad, my brother, and my stepdad. And so I bought some of these to incorporate into the foliage. And so far, the only thing I've changed out, and I put this on my community page, was I changed out my table bouquet. That's the only thing. I got my orange vase that I got last year for $1. <laughs> And then I put the sweater pumpkins in here only, just the sweater ones. And then I put some arrangements in here. And then I took some of the um, little bows that I made, the ribbons out of the ribbon. And you can see I just tied those around there. Inside, some of the ribbon, the leaf ribbon and acorns. And so, yeah, I was just trying to decorate the inside of the... Um, I also put some orange mesh down here in the bottom with the crystals on the bottom. I thought it came out really, really cute. I got one ribbon with the fire with the red truck on it. Um, I'm really digging it right now. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful. So that's going to be my fall arrangement. It's kind of hard for me to take down my summer colorful one, but I made it through. Okay, the last items coming up are the items that I told you guys I was looking for. At my local Dollar Trees, and I could not find them. And I went to Wake Forest yesterday and found some of the items. And then um, the other items came in from Amazon today. So okay. I got them all. I got, that store had so many reforms. I'm not even going to look anywhere else. I'll just go to that store in Wake Forest and get my reforms. I thought I had three. Again, I don't know what happens to me when I'm in the stores, you guys. I really did think I had three. Because I still have one of the gold ones that I had from the last one. So I need four. So anyway, I don't need them right away. So I will get some more. So I got the 14 inch reforms from the Dollar Tree. But I had to go to Wake Forest to find them. You can see it there. Okay. And then I also found the fillers. The, um, what do they call them? Floral, floral foams to go down into... 
the little things once I to make the arrangements to stick the flowers in. So I could not find these down here in my local Dollar Tree either. So I got four of them. I need four right now. And these are the ones that came from, this is the other one right here. And these are the ones that I ordered from Amazon. For, I got a six pack of these from Amazon. And I'm really happy that I ordered them from Amazon because you get these heavy, I mean, really heavy duty metal stakes where the ones that were in the Dollar Tree, they were plastic. So you get these really nice heavy duty ones. You push it into there. And then you stick this down into the ground and, you know, you take your foam and then you make your arrangements and then you stick this whole thing down into the ground. So I want one for my mother's side because my mom and dad are buried together. And then I want one on my father's side. And then, of course, I want one individual for my brother and my stepdad. So I'm going to start working on these arrangements now so I can have everything done. I'm almost done with my cousin's reef. So I'm going to work on those things so I can get them out of the way. And I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, this is how they look um, when you put them on the headstones. So this is the way they're supposed to look once you make your arrangements. And these are really weather resistant, heavy duty. And I'm really glad because I told y'all. I used some of my fetch points and took $10 off. This only cost me $3 uh, and some change. So for six of them, y'all, for six of them. So I was really, really happy about that. And I wanted to show you guys real quick, this Bath and Body Works is showing their stuff again. This time I made sure I blacked out my address. <laughs> Thank you, thank you to my subscriber who always looks out for me. But they've got some really, really, they got more coupons. I haven't even used my coupons for this month yet. And they sent free give up to eight fifty um, plus 20% off your entire purchase for one. Then they have 25% off your entire purchase. This is um, September 26th through October 30th. And this one is now through September 25th for the 25% off. And then you get a free full-size body care up to $15.50 between now and September 25th of 2022. So they've got all these different little um, fall, the light switched, um, you know, the switch ones where you get the, um, you know, the smell of it. That is so cute. I love it. I did black out my dress this time. Then they've got this, the fall um, calendars and body sprays. That looks so good. And then they have, oh, that's the same one. I love those deep, rich blue uh, blue candles, but y'all know, ain't no need of me buying candles, but I can still buy them for gifts. My sisters love Bath and Body Works. And so here's the body sprays, the new ones. That is strawberry, pumpkin, pecan, vanilla, Blueberry sugar pancake and champagne apple and honey. That's what those body sprays are. It smells like it probably smells like food. It, it sounds like food, <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you guys to show you the coupons that just came in. So if you um, subscribe to Bath and Body Works, be on the lookout for your coupons. And yeah. Let's go get that good stuff. But that is it, you guys. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you saw something here that you might want. And I hope and pray that you find it. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.